Do not stay here. It's the worst bed and breakfast we've ever been to. The owner is a lunatic. You all come back now, you hear? <laughs> hey, look who made it. Ellen. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hi, Dad. I can't think of anything more fun to do than to get back into this character because there's nobody like Clark. <laughs> You're getting so big. Uh, come on, let's go in. Clark. No, I can do it, really. Ow. This really hurts. We were so lucky to have them be a part of it. I think it's essential. They showed up so enthusiastic and ready to have fun and play around. It just was like, da da da, the king and the queen walking onto the set. That's a very special guitar. It was given to me by Jimi Hendrix. The Jimi Hendrix? No. I couldn't do this character in any other context than with Chevy. It doesn't exist without Clark. It just doesn't. Beverly's hilarious, and I would not do it without her, of course. Unless there was somebody better. I heard that! Oh. Sorry. <laughs> they always say it's not the destination, it's the journey, right? <gasps> Holy! <laughs> the journey sucks. That's what makes you appreciate the destination. You had a dream to take your family to Wally World. Never let that go. I know I didn't. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm just uncomfortable. Hi, I'm Valerie. So you think you know movies? Well, did you know that in Toy Story, the carpet in Sid's house is the same as the one in The Shining? Next up, Olaf's Dance with the Seagulls in Frozen is a tribute to Mary Poppins, where Berta dances with the penguins. And sticking with Frozen, in early drafts of the movie, Elsa was a blue-skinned villain who wore a coat of weasels. <laughs> no way. So glad they didn't go ahead with that idea. Subscribe to keep up to date on all the latest releases and movie news.